Welcome to problem number 36 from the uh, January 2015 Algebra Regions exam. In this question, we've got the function f of x equals negative x squared plus 8x plus 9. And we need to state whether the vertex is a maximum or minimum. This is actually a fairly simple question. As long as you remember that when you have a quadratic in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, the a value tells us whether the quadratic opens up or down. If A is positive, that means that it, open, uh, it opens upwards, and if A is negative, that means it opens down. So because we have an A value of negative one here, we know that it opens down. And as explanation, you could simply say that A is, that's because the value of A is negative. Now, part B, we need to write, rewrite f of x in vertex form by completing the square. Now, in order to do that, the very first thing we need to do is get rid of this nasty negative coefficient in front of the x squared. And we can do that by simply multiplying everything, or, sorry, factoring out the negative one. So, negative x squared plus 8x plus 9. If we factor out the negative number, the negative one, Everything will switch, so plus 8x becomes minus, and plus 9 becomes minus. Okay, at this point, to complete the square, we need to take half of our b value and square it. Half of negative 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. Okay, so what we're going to do is add 16 and subtract 16. Now we just need to kind of modify this a bit so that this is no longer part of the uh, what's inside the brackets. So to, we're going to move this out. Now negative 16 minus 9 is negative 25, but because we still have this negative symbol out here, um, if we take it outside of the brackets, it'll actually become plus 25 because a negative times another negative will make it positive. Okay, so this is going to become negative, and in brackets, x squared minus 8x plus 16. Close the brackets, plus 25. All right, now, moving on up here. Now that we have a perfect square trinomial, we can factor, and it'll become x minus 4 squared. And our plus 25 is over here. And so we're all done. This is the vertex form of f of x. And by the way, if you had time on a test, you could check your answer by plugging this equation or um, into your graphing calculator and then check to see if for the point 425 is in fact your vertex. And that would be a good way to check your answer. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.